What's going on, Fax family? It's your boy Ant. God made 32 on Instagram, and today we back with Ahsoka, episode one, Master and Apprentice. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so happy to get into the Star Wars universe, man, and for the first time, I'm getting into it with you guys. I I'm definitely excited about this ride that we're about to go on, man. For all of the true diehard fans out there, man, you guys are gonna have to help me along. I just got onto Star Wars when the new trilogy came out. I've only been on since there and I've been going back ever since. So go easy on me, you feel me? Ahsoka is an awesome character, man. I speed watched through as much as Rebels that I could get to. And I watched some amazing videos from Screen Crush and New Rockstars to get me caught up for this show. And I'm expecting you guys to help me along as well, man. Anything I don't understand, man, throw it out in the comments and here we go. And if you like what we're doing here, hit join and become a member of the family and enjoy exclusive and early content please remember to do the YouTube things like comment and subscribe and if you want to be notified when we upload new videos go ahead and click that little bell icon now without any further ado let's get oh yes I love it already the evil galactic empire has fallen and a new republic has risen to take its place however sinister agents are already are at work to undermine a fragile peace. A plot is on the way to find a lost Imperial Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> New Republic for trial. <laughs> this shit looks amazing for TV. That looks great. Ask them to identify themselves and transmit their clearance code. Yes, sir. Ooh, that shit was nice. They're Jedi. Jedi? Say again? The signal is an old Jedi clearance code. No, it's not! <laughs> I want to meet these Jedi. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, the forward up is called. Quite a surprise meeting Jedi out here. Those don't look like Jedi, boy. Our existence remains a mystery to most, Captain Hale. I don't understand. You're no Jedi. Should have surrendered when the Empire collapsed. Jakris, get RD3 to scan these imposters for identification. Allow me to show you our identification. Oh, this is not going to be good. Yeah! God damn, they added up. Come here! <laughs> Jedi. We are no Jedi. Ah! <laughs> ah, don't do it to him. <laughs> oh, she's in there. Hey, hey. Oh, she's nice. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. 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 Lady Morgan. The Jedi who captured me seeks the map. Who is this Jedi? Ahsoka Tano. Yup, there we go. Ahsoka, part one, master and apprentice. See, I don't know where this is right now. It just looks great. We're going up saying it, but you know. Hey yo! Hey, that makeup looks good. <laughs> yo, I could imagine how much this. Trust the force. Is that the the sister? Princess and the prince? I forget what the deities are called. Put it in the comments what the deities are called. This is definitely the map. Liddy, oh, that's what shit that's depicted in the statues like that. Yeah, I found it. Oh, that's not good. 
Hey yo. Oh jeez. Who's that? The map. Give it to us. Us? That's two. Us. Should have brought more. Ooh, she got the little one. She ain't gonna let them attack each other and jump in the hole, is she? Hey, come here. You too. Dummy. Hey, hey. my back. That is the job of a Jedi Padawan learner, which I am not. Oh, talk that shit, Mr. Anyway, Robot. Right where Morgan said it would be. How did you get her to tell the truth? I didn't follow standard Jedi protocol. <laughs> Fulcrum, this is home one. Do you copy? Incoming transmission, priority one. Okay. D6, you're cleared for approach. Finger two nine, over. Affirmative. cities in space hey y'all i know shorty general sandula it's good to see you and you i'm afraid we've lost your prisoner and prepared a briefing to get you caught up just like old times oh man and they know she got the map too so they coming who are they they seem to have abilities like you Perhaps one of them was once a Jedi. Possibly. Star map? Not just any star map. This one holds the secret Morgan's after. The last missing Imperial Grand Admiral. Thrawn. Thrawn. Oh, blue boy. I started hearing whispers of his return, which led me to Morgan. And the secret is held in that map. Nothing is certain. Except our enemies believe that they know where to look. You know who can help you with this. I do. I'm not sure she'll want to help. Might as well get her involved. She'll do it. For Ezra. For Ezra. Go ask, shorty. It don't hurt for me to ask. Hey, hey, hey. The Empire was defeated. Thanks to the heroic efforts of Commander Ezra Bridger. Shout out to Ezra. This, this monument. monument we dedicate here today stands in recognition. May their courage and commitment never be forgotten. Here to say a few words is one of those rebel leaders. Commander Sabine Wren. Sabine. Wait, where the hell is Sabine at? <laughs> Come on, shorty. Sabine Wren. Find her now. That's cold, cause they look like in the cartoon in that joint. Nah, this is like straight up an anime shot right here, I promise. Yeah, she's an anime character. Governor Zadi's looking for you. Oh yeah? Why's that? Well, you're missing the ceremony. What 
is she going to do? She's not going to jump it. Anders, stand down. Speed. Are you going to stop? Well, you better get out of that joint just Sabine, in case. stand down. She's not stopping. Sabine. She's crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy, crazy move to try going at that speed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it was cool, but stupid. Is that a low cat? Shit look weird. <laughs> An ancient temple built by my ancestors, the Night Sisters of Dathomir. The Night Sisters, small people in them. You're a witch. Of a witch. A survivor. Of a witch survivor. Either the Jedi has the map, or it was vaporized. Oh, they on their planet. She has it. Well, if she does, you're lucky. Luck has nothing to do with it. Fate has decided our next move. What's going to happen when Shorty win? Fate going to intervene on her side, right? Send this one to the planet Lothal. And ain't Lothal where Sabine and them at? Ahsoka Tano's former apprentice is on Lothal. You're looking for Sabine Wren. So he took a Force-sensitive apprentice into his madness. Okay, so they're the master and apprentice. Or it could be... Savine and Ahsoka. Remember. Ezra. Yeah, she don't know where she live at, so she gotta go out there first. You missed the ceremony. Was that yesterday? It slipped my mind. You were missed, Sabine. Everyone was there. Hello, Hu Yang. Still in one piece? Oh, yes. And still 75% original pal. <laughs> I'll be on the ship. Right. You're gonna wanna hear what she has to say. That's a fact. Shit getting heated out here, shorty. Pull up with me. Is this about to get heavy? I think I know how to find Ezra. And just like that, all is forgiven. <laughs> Don't play the original score. Don't try to manipulate my emotion. Talk to the little cat. Where did you find this? In a world named Arcana. It was a stronghold for the witches of Dathomir. You have the artist's eye. Tell me what you see. All that's gone now, right? Where do you call home these days? The ship serves me fine. You never made things easy for me, Master. Yeah! There is nothing easy about being a Jedi. Well, then I should have made a good one. You should have. Can I take this? Where are you going? Somewhere I can think more clearly. Her? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Right. Why? Did way too much to get it. This isn't just about finding Ezra. It's about preventing another war. You think I don't know that? The map stays here. 
Okay. Then you leave, right? I, I slide. Don't worry about it. You can have it. Work in peace. The construction and overall design are executed exactly the way I taught younglings to build a lightsaber. Mm. In the last 500 years, I've only known one student who built a saber such as this. What? He disappeared at the end of the Clone Wars, like so many Jedi. The Master and an Apprentice. <laughs> that would be my assumption. I'm going to want in here. Gone. Come the fuck on, Sabine. Why you gotta be a dickhead? See, this is how you gonna get caps, huh? Look, see? Get tailed and don't even know it. Founder. Back up. <laughs> she took the map off the ship when I explicitly told her not to. But you and I both know Sabine gives you the best chance of reading that map. She's still just as stubborn and bullish as ever. She's Mandalorian. Facts. Them Thought I did. Rough. Things didn't turn out the way either of us wanted. I bet your master found you difficult at times. E, touchy, touchy. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. And the Jedi. Mm hmm Good fact. Just like I walked away from Sabine. Sometimes even the right reasons have the wrong consequences. That is a fact. What do we do then? Because you don't know what would have happened you stay with Anakin, man. Maybe he wouldn't have became Vader because he had another good person. Or maybe you would have got got because you would have been the closest person to him when he turned. There we go. Should turn into a galaxy. Is that the path to where they went? The thing is, is she gonna get a now or tomorrow? Oh, oh! Hey, come here! That hurt, but that's the matter with the end of the day. Oh, come on, Sabine. Oh, jeez, Sabine. What are you doing? Who you had any backup now? All you got left is your own lightsaber. We've been looking for this. Come on, That's man. Too bad. Yeah, now you shook. Shit about to get crazy. Somebody about to come up dead, and I'm thinking it might be Sabine, son. Hey! Hey! Come on, dog. 
for our friend Ray. And yeah, guys, that was Ahsoka episode one, man. And that was a thrilling introduction to this series, man. I really do appreciate everything they've done with that episode. It was really, really, really good. And the reason I think I'm appreciating this episode so much is it's the fact that I'm not really attached to these characters. And they made me care about these characters in a very short amount of time. And when their life was in jeopardy, I'm really over here worried about it. You know what I mean? Like, not like really worried about it, but I'm just saying like for the show. And they pissed me off with two character moves already in the show. And that's the amazing thing about these shows when these characters are making decisions and it's forcing me to be over here screaming at the screen. You know what I mean? I think things like that are the tell of a good show, especially if these actions come back around and wrap up the series in a beneficial or really tragic way. But as long as it's meaningful, whatever decision they make, as long as it invokes emotions from whoever's watching and those two criteria the field that I mentioned before and I think maybe this one is gonna do it I think because of the caliber of character and actor with Ahsoka Tano and Rosario Dawson I think they're gonna take this one a little bit more seriously and put it on a path to be successful especially with the stumbles that they made with prior legacy series like Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi which I really did like Obi-Wan Kenobi I understand that a lot of the legacy fans did not like it and I understand that it took away from a lot of the meaning in some of the prior works but for me it fits in in the time and because he was so messed up in that series it made sense why he would go back and be a hermit for another like 10 years but that's besides the point we're not talking about Obi-Wan and if y'all want me to do a re-reaction to Obi-Wan if ever there's a new like Star Wars series that's touching on those characters coming up let me know. Put it in the comments, man. But honestly, it felt great being back in the Star Wars universe. And it looks really pretty this time around. I think that all of these series has its own character when it comes to sets. And how they depict the galaxy, planets, and people that they have. But it all has one DNA to it. And I think that the DNA of this from this one episode fits more to the Mandalorian. And what we have come to get used to with the newer trilogy. And yet fits in continuity with what has come before. And I think if they execute this the right way, especially with the lore stopping at one certain point and now we're just extending it to tell the rest of that story, I think Ahsoka could be really big, man. And don't let this be a hit and whoever is in charge of Star Wars has a plan, especially with this character because of all of the people that she touches because of how long she's been in Star Wars. We could take that and build into a new, new franchise because of what could happen just off of this series alone possibilities are really endless and don't get me started with the fact that these people journey to the unknown sector of the galaxy you understand what i'm saying if you know the lore which most of you guys do you know what i'm saying i'm the one that just coming in here you know what's going on over there with ron and his people so this could be our way to dive into that section in live action and it really could be a possibility we really could like diverge from everything that's going on with the skywalker saga completely and this could be our new end to anybody who does like star wars or we could just go watch Rebel Moon. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm excited about Rebel Moon, man. I just did a reaction to that, man. Uh, you could go check that out, man. It's probably in the description or something. But yeah, guys, I really did like this series, man. Rosario Dawson is awesome as a character. All of the other side characters in this one so far has been really endearing. I'm drawn in. I want to see what this story is. I've already done the legwork and caught up. Shout out to Screen Crush. Shout out to New Rockstars for those videos. Supremely helpful. So I'm glad I know kind of what's going on right now. I'm going to probably like rewatch those videos like two or three more times just so like I know what's going on and I'm going to be keeping up with them so they plug me in on what else is going on because I'm going to miss stuff. But I want you to help me out too. But yeah, guys, jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about this one, man. What did you like about this episode so far, man? How, what did you think about the villains? They're awesome. I don't know if I really touched on them like that, but like both of them were very intimidating, highly scary. Buddy with the beard, rest in peace. I heard he died. He won't get to see this great performance, but his family should be fucking proud. My condolences to his family. Rest in peace to him. This is an awesome performance. I'm just so glad that we get to appreciate you for what you put on screen. And what did you think about the portrayals of Ahsoka Tano, Sabine Rand, and Harrison Dula? Whatever you think, man, jump down in the comments and let me know. Also, tell me what you're anticipating is going to happen in the future. And also, tell me what episode do you think Thrawn and or Ezra is going to make an appearance. If you think they're going to make an appearance in here, or they're going to leave that up for a movie. And yeah, guys, if you like what we're doing here, hit join and become a member of the family. And enjoy exclusive and early content. 
content. And please remember to hit the like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know, and it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. You were right. We are no Jedi.